Hi everyone, welcome back to this short tutorial from Pathology Made Simple at ilovepathology.com and supported by this amazing AI study tool called Wisdolia. At the end of this session, I will be providing you with a link for the practice session via Wisdolia for you to solve multiple choice questions based on the topic which I am going to cover. And the topic is part 2 of meningioma. Right? In this part, we will discuss the microscopic features, clinical features, spread of meningiomas, bit about treatment and prognosis of meningiomas. In my earlier part, that is a part 1, we talked about the definition, etiopathogenesis, risk factors, the gross features and then we did list 15 variants of meningiomas. Right? We categorized into grade 1, grade 2 and grade 3. Grade 1 is the benign ones and the grade 3 is the anaplastic or the malignant ones. Let us now look into you know, one, few of the important variants of meningiomas. The first one is meningo or meningothelial type of meningioma. So this meningioma, what you see is that the tumor is composed of clusters of epithelioid cells. Okay, and these cells have a you know, fuzzy or indiscernible cell membranes. You cannot easily make out the cell borders. Okay, that's why it is indiscernible cell membrane. These are clusters of epithelioid cells. What is more important to note that few of these cells do have intranuclear pseudo inclusion. Okay, and that's a very characteristic feature. More than that, these meningothelial cells they form syncytium, okay, sheet like arrangement of these cells. That's the classical meningothelial type of meningioma. The second one is fibroblastic meningioma. As the name says, this contains fascicles of spindle shaped cells with abundant collagen deposition in between. Okay, you find these intersecting fascicles composed of these spindle shaped cells and abundant collagen in between. This is fibroblastic type of meningioma. The third important type which you need to learn is the transitional type of meningioma where you have mixture of the first two, okay, that is the meningothelial and fibroblastic features. Most important is that in this type of meningioma, you find lots of these whorl like structures. Okay, so basically these are concentric wrapping of tumor cells around one another. This is very typical feature of transitional type of meningioma. The next one is Samomatous meningioma. As the name says, this is a type of meningioma where you find lots of Samoma bodies. What are Samoma bodies? These are deposits of dystrophic calcification. They represent concentric rings of calcification which is deposited over the pre-existing whorls which is which we which we saw in transitional type of meningioma right you can even see some of these whorls here right so these whorls are composed of tumor cells we know when these tumor cells die you know it undergoes dystrophic calcification and the calcification is in the form of concentric rings and these are known as samoma bodies you find numerous samoma bodies in this variant of meningioma right now moving on to atypical meningioma which represents around one fourth of meningiomas okay one fourth of meningiomas are atypical ones they are associated with higher recurrence rates they have more aggressive local growth than that of the grade one meningiomas the important feature is that they have increased mitotic index they can have brain invasion or even other aggressive features like invasion into the underlying bone, overlying dura, okay, and the brain parenchyma itself. As I told you, the atypical meningiomas they have two histological patterns, which can be clear cell and two is choroid. Okay, the third one, the third category, the grade three meningiomas are often anaplastic meningiomas are referred to as or also referred to as malignant meningiomas. They are very highly aggressive malignant tumors. They often resemble like a sarcoma or even a carcinoma, but then somewhere in the tumor, there is some evidence that it is meningothelial origin, right? And these accounts for around 1 to 3 percent of meningiomas, right? So these are 1 to 3 percent, this is 1 fourth, around 25 percent, and the rest of them predominantly are the grade 1 or the benign meningiomas. And the malignant meningiomas, they can arise de novo. 
okay or they can be a malignant progression from a lower grade meningiomas usually grade 2 going on to become grade 3 is more common than grade 1 to grade 3 right as i told you they are highly aggressive malignancy they are categorized into papillary and rhabdoid this is a papillary type of meningioma and this is rhabdoid type of meningioma so papillary and rhabdoid type of meningioma is a grade 3 meningioma which has high recurrence and high mortality rates how do meningiomas present they are usually slow growing tumors and we know that majority of them are benign tumors but then the symptoms are often vague non localizing symptoms with uh, focal findings referable to compression of underlying brain okay patients often manifest with you know symptoms like headaches weakness seizures though they are not specific for meningiomas these are often as a result of compression of the underlying brain parenchyma right and meningiomas often express variety of hormones for example progesterone receptors and that is why meningiomas they grow very rapidly during pregnancy and at the same time they also regress very fast after the delivery how do meningiomas spread they commonly invade the adjacent anatomical structure because we know that the dura is attached to arachnoid and then there is a space subarachnoid space and then pia which is attached to the brain parenchyma right so meningiomas we know that it arises from the arachnoid layer and hence it is very easy for them to get attached or invade into the adjacent structure particularly the dura it can sometimes metastasize to lungs pleura bone and liver and remember these are the ones which are often seen in grade 2 or even grade 3 meningiomas grade 3 more common how do you treat meningiomas most often it's uh, resection of the meningiomas it's very easy you can easily you know enucleate and take it out particularly the benign meningiomas of course the resection depends upon the site of the tumor depends upon the extent of invasion and depends upon the attachment to the intracranial structures okay more the deeper more attachment it makes you know the resection much more difficult now the prognosis again depends upon uh, bite of the tumor 20 percent of grade 1 meningiomas in one study it say they say to a, approximately around 20 percent of grade 1 meningiomas did recur okay and the recurrence rates are higher in grade 2 and grade 3 meningiomas if at all you have a meningioma with underlying bone invasion initially it goes into the dura and then if it spreads into the bone that means you're looking at a bad prognosis anaplastic meningiomas i told you these are the grade 3 meningiomas they are malignant meningiomas and these are often fatal the median survival rate uh, you know the time range can be as less than two years or even slightly more than five years again depends upon the extent of resection of these you know uh, grade 3 tumors and also depending upon the radiation therapy so that's about the prognosis of meningiomas so with this we complete the topic on meningioma if you have landed here for the first time i would suggest you to go and watch the part one of meningioma as well now that you have completed the topic on meningioma i would suggest you to just click on the link in the description box below or even the pin comment so that you know this is via visdolia you can solve multiple choice questions related to the topic meningioma this exercise will help you in understanding the topic much better and i'm sure you will not forget what you have learned the good thing is that you do get instant feedback if you go wrong and then this is really fun to learn this way try it out and let me know what you feel in the comment section thank you for watching if you have liked the video hit the like button do comment don't forget to subscribe and please do share thank you